we say this. One, unfortunately, the findings confirm that the committee was formed by the unwilling, that is the Kenya Kwanza, and was intended to buy time. We remain an integral part of the Azimio coalition, which is a democratic coalition with room for divergent views. Therefore, now Kenya boldly presents its views and unapologetically so. That yes. is all with, for the NADCO report, but we cannot leave without commenting on the security situation in the country. Our attention has been drawn to a statement go, doing the rounds on social media and also through our membership from the Lamu County that the in Lamu has been experiencing an undue hate and insecurity with murder, abduction and murder of citizens a majority of whom come from one ethnic group, mainly the Kikuyus. We are not shy to say that. And even this week alone, there's been abduction and murders. We've also seen in the media a group of residents of Lamu making decisions as to who is a member of the Lamu community. And this is about the subdivision, the impeding subdivision of the Amu Ranch where they have issued criminal threats to perceived outsiders, mainly members of the Kikuyu community, which now exacerbates the security threats. We also have had reports from Wasangishu, incarceration of traders, hawkers, again mainly from the Kikuyu community by county council, not county council, but county Ascaris. No statement or action has been forthcoming from the Kenya Kwanza regime or the Ministry of Interior in this insecurity in Lamu and in uh, Wasangishu. <coughs> Ruto and Kenya Kwanza must come clean whether he has authorized persecution of the Kikuyu nation and especially the diaspora. It's a very serious issue. We want to remind them that our constitution allows Kenyans to live anywhere they choose. And all over the country, including in the mountain, we have Kenyans from everywhere who are residing there. And in Lamu, we have Kenyans from everywhere, and some are second generation, having been born in Lamu. We want to know, or rather we conclude, the silence of Ruto and the KK regime indicates complicity in this affair. We also want to comment on the weaponization of the criminal justice system. Only this week, Kenyans have witnessed, or rather been informed, of the abduction and night being driven at night to Mombasa of the controller of budget, Madam Margaret Nyakango. If she has committed an offense, nobody would stop the government from doing whatever they wish. Why abduct her? You know, it's an abduction style because you are taken away from your family, from her husband, told you are being taken to the headquarters in Nairobi and you'll be released, driven all the way to Mombasa with strange people, with nobody who can help her in sight. That no legitimate government treats its citizens that way. Yes, yes. And this is not the only time the justice system has been weapon, weaponized. We have seen serious criminal and economic crimes concerning government functionaries being withdrawn and those people sanitized and appointed to government. While we have seen the persecution of people who are not in favor with KK. Our call is to the officers who are working in the public service and also and including state officers be loyal to the constitution be loyal to the people of kenya not to the appointing authority yes. 